Last poem of the night. How weird, how weird is that? Oh, thank you, um, thank you. A good deed is done for no good reason. You are a slab of wood and an unused nail. You are each one and you are them both. You lay in a Home Depot perhaps or an architecture firm, perhaps even in the back of some shed in Indiana or Boogalooza or 314 7th Street, Brooklyn, New York. Without the industry of human hands, you are just yourselves and no one has made you into a house or even said the word, never whispered in your ear the possibility of shelter, never took a Polaroid of a family and said, this is something you could keep warm so you don't know really what could come of you, but you know in the rain you rust and mold respectively and one day a hand is hovering above you, a hand is hovering above you and you are staring at it, considering the endless permutations of a hand, all its wants, and before long you know the hand is going to pick you up and you are worried, you are a fleet of pigeons rascaling your talons in the dirt, you are thinking, if I move, I would be beautiful but I would be moved. And suddenly the hand is holding you. The hand is holding you and you are becoming something else. And you are not fantasizing of floorboards quality of life, the pros and cons of assembling into a chair. In fact, you aren't thinking much of anything, not asking the scary questions, not what if all I am is all the houses I'll never live in, or if no one walks inside, will I be a house at all? Because somehow you know you are not a dead bouquet of missiles miscellaneous daisies from two valentines and a heartbreak ago, you are still possible the way a set of cheap crappy books and a smile, a small portion of it given can be evidence the world won't leave you behind so you allow yourselves to become whatever these hands will make you and when you are asked how it felt the day you were suddenly a house, you will not remember much. You will not be able to define it in words. All you will know is you did have definition. You were held and you weren't love exactly. You didn't offer that nature to last, to be a monument marble crafted into the face of some president suited and gone because among other elements, you were not marble. You were never going to be and you weren't a necessity really. Weren't two cuts of a branch learning the arithmetic of fire unraveling to dust for a worthy cause like warmth or survival you were a moment the way laughter is the way breath behind a kiss is you weren't dire but you were the difference an empty lot than a house than an empty lot as before and you know this part that you won't last that you will be torn back down to your simple selves. You may, in the process, forget what you were until you are again what you were, a slab of wood, a nail, and no intention. Only now you are different. Now you are touched. You have been moved, made, and unmade. Swiftly you have been lived in. Give it up one more time for Ocean Wong and Aziza Barnes.